first question we got is from Tomer. Hey Landry, good to see you. Um, after the uh, uh, events, I guess, leading up to Wednesday night's meetings and some of the meetings on Thursday, what was your level of optimism or pessimism that you guys were going to walk away from Orlando, there was going to be no season? Um, to, I mean, for me, just how quickly moving everything was uh, from, from when Milwaukee decided to do what they did and um, kind of seeing the, the domino effect after that of, of kind of how things things played out. Now there was, I mean, for for a second, you know, you're you're obviously thinking about that. Um, you know, like this could could get shut down pretty quick. Seeing other leagues doing it, uh, kind of knowing the impact that we had on on really the world. Um, you know, for those those like 48 hours. So um, it was definitely it was real. Uh, something that I that crossed my mind for sure. Obviously wanted to. Make sure I was prepared for for either situation, um, but you know, ultimately, I think you know, there's there's a lot of guys here that you know, you know, one love basketball and two realize that you know, without this kind of platform, um, you guys aren't asking me these questions in this setting, and I'm not able to, um, you know, express my opinion on a variety of things. So uh, I think that's big, and um, you know, ultimately, I felt like we were we were going to be okay. And next question is going to come from Andrew. Hey, Landry. Uh, good to see you. I guess considering all that's been invested in going after a championship with this team this year, what did that tell you about um, what the team wanted when they decided, when they voted, you know, hey, we don't know if this is right to continue? Um, well, with that, I mean, it wasn't – none of this – one thing that I th think is getting, getting lost in all this, this isn't about wanting to play basketball. Um, we want to play basketball. We're professional basketball players. It's what we love to do. Um, it's what we want to do. It's a matter of, you know, with everything going on in the world, uh, socially, racially, um, is is it was a matter of like, we don't know what what the right thing to do is. You know, there's you could go a variety of different ways and 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 do pros and cons of each. And and that was just a vote on our team of what, you know, certain guys wanted to play and certain guys didn't, thinking that that could ultimately make the best social uh, impact. It's not a not a question of do we want to win a championship because we do. That's all we think about. We're back locked in. Uh, we're here. That's that's our one goal. Um, so that's that's not the question at all. We that's that hasn't changed. That won't change um, as long as this group's together. I've got time for a few more questions for you. Uh, next question is going to come from Miriam. Um, so you sort of talked about being locked in. It, is it challenging to sort of compartmentalize a little bit, like you know, all the big issues that matter to you guys and, and basketball? And, uh, and then also, was there a benefit to just kind of being a couple days off to breathe, as, as Doc said? Yeah, no, for sure. I think that's one thing that we we hadn't really had time to, you know, one collectively as all the players come together and really like, you know, get to address some of the issues that we did. Um, and just be able to talk and have some good conversation. Um, and then personally, like me, just being able to sit in my room um, and kind of just cope and reflect on everything that's happened. I mean, it was therapeutic to a sense. Uh, it was hard. It's been, you know, weird and, and painful. But um, I think it's important, uh, like you said, just to be able to cope with um, with certain things, just to have that, that step away for a split second. We've got time for one more question. Um, we're going to go to Cassidy in Orlando, and then we're, uh, we're going to move on to that. <clears throat> Landry, Paul George said that he had a lot of people coming up to him saying that he appreciated him coming out and talking about his mental health. Did it have an impact on you, or did you see hit the impact of him expressing those feelings on other players around? Um, well, first off, anybody who, you know, if you can you know, have the courage to come out and speak about, you know, what's going on in your head and, and, you know, mentally, psychologically, you know, that's, you know, I don't care who you are, if you're Paul George or if you're, you know, regular person on the street, like that's, that's empowering um, and, and should be taken that way from anybody who, who was able to see it and, and hear it. So obviously, first off, I'm proud of him for being able to, you know, be open about that. And, and secondly, I think obviously, like I just said, if it's a Paul George doing that, saying that, then, you know, 
it, it shows the reality that regardless of who you are, we all we all have our, our things that we have to deal with and cope with and and can can visit those dark places sometimes. So um, it's it should be eye opening and um, received well by anybody who who heard it. Thanks, Andrew. Yep. Thanks, Andrew. No problem, guys.